Oh, we got wood there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think where I'm living is better. Because my... Oh, God, bandits. Did you see them? What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Mist Survival. Oh my god, Mist Survival, where have you been all my life? Let us let me tell you a little bit about this game. It is a single-player zombie-slash-infected game. I'm not really sure. I'm doing air quotes right now. They kind of act like zombies, but I think they're called infected. But whatever, it's a survival game. It kind of reminds me of what Survive the Nights is going for. It is right now $10.99 on Steam. $10.99. Is it worth it? You guys are just going to have to watch and find out. Um, I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen so far. Uh, it's very early. Very early. I think this just came out like a couple of days ago. Uh, early access on Steam. Uh, but from what I've seen so far, uh, it seems like it's got a pretty good scope of what they want to do and what they've done so far. All right, let's see what we got here. I think we have some kind of text coming up. Where did text be at? Three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. Many, many areas of, uh, of the world were covered by a mysterious mist. Many people got sick and died. People who survived without immunity had side effects. Uh, they became something f uh, ferocious. Uh, they would turn maniac. Okay, I couldn't really finish it. You have immunity and have survived at the time. That's why I did my intro with uh, what's up, my immune friends. Uh, the camp where you live is currently attacked by some creatures you've never seen before. You survived the attack. You, they attack and ran away. All right, so it's it's like the it's like this mist comes in and it made everyone sick and the people who died died and the people who didn't die that were not immune turned into infected. And by the way, whenever I say infected, I do air quotes. You guys can't see it. I don't know why I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> and there are some people who are immune like me. Let's go over some of these basic survival guide stuff. Uh, stamina regeneration rate will slow down when fatigue value is low. There are two ways to recover fatigue. Sleep or rest. Sleep can only uh, be restored uh, to maximum fatigue. Sleep can only be restored to maximum fatigue. Uh, press Evan to sleep, press F, press seven to sleep on the ground. There's your fatigue. There's your stamina. All right, let's go. Shelter management. Um, you can manage a shelter uh, by observing the house symbol. The dwelling house will have the symbol at the front door. When you enter the shelter, I don't know if English is these people's first language. It might not be, so there's some grammatical errors here. Plus, I'm not a good reader, so maybe it's my fault. But anyway, uh, when you enter the shelter command mode, uh, you can choose to change the base shelter or manage the survivors. That's what I'm talking about. It's got like some st state of decay too stuff. Now, I don't know if survivors are actually in the game. Like I said, it's very, very very early but just the fact that they're looking at this stuff has me super freaking excited um sur survivors are only active in 50 meters around the base shelter so you got your survivor list you know your base management we'll get into all that later the mist event this is cool the appearance of each fog is accompanied by some events um players must be prepared uh infectious can come out outdoors can come outdoors only at night or when this, or when there's no sun. So I guess um, that means they can also hunt when the uh, fog is covered. Traveling in the fog is quite dangerous. So that's pretty cool. That's like some Minecraft stuff there that I, I actually quite miss. Um, and Seven Days to Die does that too. You know, you have to be a lot more worried at night. Um, but in the meantime, this weather visibility. Uh, but in the meantime, in this weather, the visibility of the bandits worsens as well. So there's bandits in the game. Bow and arrow. High performance equipment for hunting can be used without noise. Suitable for hunting or ass assassination. You have to install the quiver uh, that contains the arrows already before you can use it. The higher the higher quiver level the more arrows can be added you can switch arrows while using the bow by pressing r longbow can be used to kill bandits in single shots uh while using hunting arrows oh my god this is so freaking cool this is so freaking cool let's take a look what we got here we got a saw we got a backpack we got um shelter commands open shelter mode manage the survivors of the shelter or set up a new base shelter all right, so we got a little uh, little lean lean thing. I think what these are called, lean to or something like that right here. Player can change base shelters by pressing set as base. Uh, when base shelter is changed, the survivors in your camp will be moved to the last position of base shelter. Wow, that's freaking cool. Um, building permission manager. Check mark, check mark person who has permission to enter the shelter. 
No room select. Okay. All right. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. I'm freaking psyched with this game. All right. We're going to open this up. We're going to take all. You can see right here we've got health, hunger, thirst, fatigue, stamina, cold. Again, I want to say this is in very early access. So don't let these, uh, you know, these basic, you know, uh, UIs uh, deter you from the game if you're thinking about getting it. Um, should you get it? I think it's a good ten dollars I spent. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I have no qualms yet. Um, you know, but that, hey, man, your ten dollars might be different than my ten dollars. So you know, just watch me play. Watch me play. Sit back, grab some popcorn, grab a soda. You know, and uh, see what the game's got to offer. Uh, all I gotta say is I'm really impressed with the game so far. It is not a procedurally generated world. It is a. It is a static world. At the moment, I don't know anything about this game. I don't know if the developers are planning on, uh, you know, doing random generation. I mean, Seven Days to Die was in was a uh, didn't have random gen till Alpha Nine, so it doesn't mean they're not going to add uh, random gen. It just means that they don't have it just yet. I mean, the forest doesn't have random gen, and that game's been a fun for a long amount of time. So I don't think random gen needs to be in a game. It definitely helps, but um, it hasn't really bothered me yet. But although I haven't been you know, I guess it depends on how big the map is, what they do with it. You know, what, what gameplay has to offer. Uh, let's come on over here. Oh, can we get up there? What is it? Oh, boy. Explosion tanks. Uh, let's see if we can get up here. Oh, E-Climb. I did play this game for about a half hour, but I did not come up here. So let's see what we got up here. This would probably be the place to stay for the night now. Is there any loot up here? No, I'm not seeing... Oh, there's some. You think I should try it? Okay. Oh, SWAT helmet, baby. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so I changed my thing. I changed my um my keybind to tab. It's supposed to be I and tab is uh brings up the UI. I put the UI to H and I put the inventory to tab. So if you hear me saying tab or anything like that, you know, hopefully it doesn't confuse anybody. All right, SWAT helmet, beautiful. By the way, the stuff I was picking up was feathers. I picked up some uh blueberries. Um some leaves, stuff like that. Okay, let's go ahead and climb down. Oh, I'm I'm pretty excited about this game uh, so far. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if the developers have a Discord or something. I like to interact with developers on Discord personally, and I'm gonna see if uh, I can get the developers to either if they have a Discord or maybe open one because I really want to talk to developers about this game because um, it seems really freaking cool. Hey, look, cars. Can we do anything with the cars? <gasps> we can open the doors. All right, so that soda was there last time. I don't need uh, pre-generate like um, randomly generated worlds, but I would like randomly generated loot. Now, again, this game is in super early access, but I think like it would behoove them to make the loot randomly generated. So, but for now, it looks like everything's about the same spot. Look at this. You could put in engines, spark plugs, gas. Can we drive cars? I don't know. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. All right, so what do we got here? We got some... Uh, okay, wait a minute. I went in here last time, and I don't think that had a bottle of water. Although I could be wrong. So we're going to go ahead and loot all that. Looting stuff does take time. Taking stuff out of the cars takes time. If you want to take these spark plugs out, right? It says it's going to take three minutes. It's not going to take three real-life minutes. But what it does, really smartly, is it, it, like, it speeds up the game for those three minutes. You don't have to sit around waiting, which would be annoying. But at the same time... Um, oh, metal scrap. But at the same time... Uh, it takes some time, so it's not like you just magically get stuff right away. Um, you know what it reminds me of like a lot with that is Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid was like that. All right. When I came in here... By the way, L is flashlight. When I came in here last time, there was nothing to get. So I don't think there's anything to loot here in these, um, these rooms. So I'll probably skip them and maybe come back. Uh, let's do... Well, I did hear something over here. Like something monstrous. When I was looting earlier, so let's um, let's loot, but let's keep our ears open for any kind of problems, because I don't have anything to de to defend myself with. All right, trunk. Let's turn this off. We're outside. Okay, the game runs extre extremely well. I'm I'm locked at sixty, which is really nice. Okay, nothing. Can't open any doors. Nothing in there. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, okay, some more of these uh, components. Alright. Nothing else. Okay. It doesn't look like we can pick any of the uh, shrubbery yet. 
we got some more metal scraps. Oh crap, I'm full. See, this is why I, I kind of want to make my make my way to the base. Let me let's make the way to the base. All right, I know there's a base down this um down this road, so we're gonna make our way down there so we can uh, store stuff. All right, now I don't know if there's actually infected out during the during the day, but when I was over here last time, I like I said, I did hear some nasty, you know, stuff. You know, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be aware of that 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 could be an issue. All right, let's check out this place, this car really quick. No, nope, nothing. Can't get in all the cars. Um, maybe we can get in this green car. What do we got here? Oh, here we go. All right, nothing in there. Nope, nothing in there either. It's so cool you can you can unlock all you can open all the doors. I don't know why that just makes me happy. All right, so right here we have the engine, spark plug, battery, four tires, gas. So that's what we need to get a car going. Can you get a car going? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any gas. All right, it says OL. I'm assuming that means it doesn't have any gas, but maybe they're th maybe they're thinking of oil. I don't know. But let's check in here. Nothing in there. Oh, we could carry stuff around while we're driving. Oh God. Yeah, this is this is what I expected from Survive the Nights. Like, right away. Like maybe not right away, but I expected Survive the Nights to have this kind of stuff by now, and I'm kind of surprised it doesn't. Um, they might want to get get on the ball because I don't know. Maybe Survive the Nights does have it. Have you guys been playing it? Because I'll tell you right now, they need to get on the ball because this game could eat their lunch. I mean, seriously, this is good. All right, so here's a base that we can do um, right here. We have the shelter command. Same thing as all the other stuff. We're going to do is set as base. Small house is set as base. So now we can come in here. There's going to be a, um, a hatchet. There's boarded up windows. I guess you could board up all the windows if you have the hammer and nails and wood. And there is some storage. So why don't we go ahead and drag all the stuff. What is this? Matches. Okay. We got food. I'm going to keep the food with me. Um, it looks like the food's going bad. So I might want to eat it sooner rather than later. And it doesn't tell me how much it's going to give me back. It tells me the weight. But that doesn't tell me how much hunger it's going to give me back. And I don't really want to waste, you know, hunger. You know what? I'm going to leave all this stuff here. at the hell with it. Maybe we'll put the food in the other one. Yeah, we'll put the food and the drink in the other one. I'm going to be able to carry as much stuff as I can. This uh, scrap metal is going to be very, very important. All right. So uh, we'll hold on to that. We'll put... No, nah, actually, just put everything away. Just put everything away. All right, let's go do some more looting. We're going to grab the axe. Can the axe be used as a weapon? I don't know because um, I didn't play long enough to see any infected. Uh, the infected came out when I was playing during the fog night. Or actually, it wasn't even night. It was during the day. But the infected did come out, but I just hid like a coward. <laughs> and I'll probably hide like a coward again. All right, so this is, this is a nice building down here. There's another car that's drivable. I'm guessing if it's drivable, that means it's got all its parts. Oh, that does have any parts. Okay. So is that drivable or not? So it says it's drivable, but I don't think it is because it doesn't have all the parts in there. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. We'll have to we'll have to do some work there. Kind of find out what, what the deal is. Okay, let's turn this on and let's look around. So we got some tires. We got another axe. I'll take the other axe. Okay, should we take the tires? Yeah, let's take the tires. We'll put them on those cars. Um, nothing. Okay, so the loot is random, random because they, this one was not empty last time. All right, the loot is definitely random. What is that? Nine millimeter. Uh, oh, wait, that's weird. Okay, so it, it isn't random. I'm not sure if it's random. This is exactly what was in the middle one, so I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, we got to get out of there, then we got to move this. What? Can I not move this? Oh, because I'm holding it, see? All right, can we uh, just not hold anything? Oh, by the way, you can tilt. T and Q. Oh. T and Q. See? All right, I'm just going to hit number two to put that away. We put that right there. And then we put this in here. And we got two rounds. So is that all that was in that box was two rounds? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's not going to kill any infected. All right, I want to put this away for now. Um, eh, whatever. Let's keep it out. It looks it, it looks badass. It might scare away some bandits. We're going to grab the engine. Uh oh. Okay, loots. I love the fact that they have loots as plural. I think that's awesome. Ooh, is that shotgun? No, that's um rifle ammo. Alright, the bottom one is not lootable. 
Okay. Okay. All right. That's a workbench. We'll get into that in a moment. Let's go ahead and grab this. That shirt was in there last time. So maybe some of the loot is the same. Maybe it's... I don't, I don't really know. We'll have to play a couple times. There we go. Can we put it there. Yeah, we can put it either place. Okay. Well, we'll leave it there. All right. Anything else? We'll take the battery. All right. This is the workbench. This will allow us to craft more items. We can craft nails um, with components and scraps. We should probably craft some nails because um, we do need the nails to um, uh, to board up our windows. Uh, we can craft some of this stuff. We can craft that. Uh, we can craft lock picks, but you need to upgrade the workshop. Um, we could do a combat knife. Uh, we could do a bow. I'd probably like to do the bow. Um, we need to find some of these sewing kits. I don't know if you can make sewing kits. I didn't see the ability to. So I would like to find some sewing kits. That's a wall light. Okay. All right. Well, let's do as much looting before nighttime as we can. Um, but I think what I want to do is... It's uh, it's only noon. Yeah, we can still do some more looting. I think what I want to do is I want to start putting everything in this car. Proceed. That takes 20 minutes. See? Now time's going by. That's cool. I really like that. That is so Project Zomboid. It's not even funny. So cool. Okay, so that's all we can do right there. What is this? This is not more 9 mil. Alright, uh, should we go that way or this stay on the road? Hmm. I really don't want to get too far away from my base. Let's go let's go down the road this way. Let's look in the woods because it is already it is already uh it's gotta be past noon now. It's already 1230, so I really don't want to go go get be getting lost. There's we got another base over here. I don't know if this is one I can choose. Or what? Let's take a look. Actually, it does look like one I can choose. Okay. Well, it is one I can choose. This is the one I took, right? No, the one I took is on the road. It's on the other side of the road. Is there a map? No map. Nope, this is not the one I chose. Okay, that's fine. Let's just loot it and get out of here then. Oh, there's some sewing kits. You might only be able to loot the sewing kits. So... All right, cool. More sewing kits. Maybe I should have looted my. Maybe I should have looted my building before I claimed it. I'll bet you if you go in. Okay, if you guys go to a building and you want to claim it as your own, loot it first. I think I might have wanted to loot it first. Um, did you hear that? I hear something. There's some there's something in there. There we go. What? Come on. There he goes. Oh, there's another one. These guys are fast too. Alright, two down. Two Zeds down. Maybe I want to live here. Maybe not. Where's the bodies? Can I loot them? Oh, there we go. So I'm pretty sure that's what the Zeds dropped. Nah, I don't want to live here. This place is well. It's already. It's got a lot of stuff. See, I don't. Nah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay where I. Where I. Where I chose to live. All right, let's go ahead and loot that. Okay, I got no room for anything. Can I loot that? Yes, because it stacks. I feel like I should be able to loot some of this stuff. Oh, here we go. Electronic part, bandages. All right, we got to come back here. Let's go. Let's go home and drop stuff off. Oh, we got wood there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think where I'm living is better because my oh god, bandits! Did you see them? Did you see them? They were in black. They were in Kevlar black, like freaking old school, freaking rust. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I chose to. I think I chose a better spot. Because that's closer to the bandits. Also, if you notice, my house is right up against a um, a cliff. So, like, I'm pretty much protected from behind. So, I think you're supposed to live here. Your first shelter, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to make myself feel better. Alright, let's go ahead and drop some stuff off in here. Uh, rocks. We're going to leave the hammer. The sewing kits. Uh, I don't need to carry the ammo with me because I can't do anything with it anyway. Um, we don't need the extra axe. Um, did I put any food in here? I did not. 
What is that? That's rifle ammo. And this stacks with that. I got six of those. What are they called? Components? Or, oh, I didn't put the tire on the freaking car. All right, whatever. I wonder if I can just throw the tire on the ground around my house and it won't go anywhere. I'll bet you can. I'll put it outside. I don't want to be tripping over it during the night. Oh, by the way, this is a water collector. But it doesn't... A water barrel. It doesn't collect water, though. All right. So, can we drop that? Drop. Yep. I'll bet you that stays there. That's cool. That is really cool. All right. Let's get back to that other place. Avo we're going to go back there. We're going to avoid the bandits. And we're going to see if we can uh, do some more looting. It is getting late. And we are getting hungry and really getting thirsty. Uh... So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be prepared for the hunger and the thirst to become an issue soon. I wonder if those bandits heard my gunshot. Is that where they were? No. Nah. No, nah, this is the place I was looting. Yeah, they're more up that way. I really hope you can find maps and stuff. Oh, I wonder if they were in there. I don't think they were in there. I think they were up there. They had like some metal walls or something. Yeah, they're up there. Yeah. All right. Let me know in the comments if you guys saw them because they scared the crap out of me. Oh, no, this is the first place I looted. Never mind. This place is completely looted. This is the one where I was getting the stuff. All right, we're going to give those bandits a wa Oh, look at the tower. Oh, freaking cool. Well, we could always move if we need to. Gonna grab the feathers. Anything we can grab out here? More components. Guys, I'm pretty excited about this game. This seems like a lot of fun. Can I grab that? Yeah, pick up the logs. I can always cut down trees for those logs, but yeah, free logs are free logs. Alright, so let's come on over here. Okay. Now we got some stuff over here, right? Yep. Yeah. We gotta yeah, it's too much light. Electronics part, bandages, more components, more sh shotgun shells? Yes, 12 gauge. All right, and more cloth. Cloth has got to be helpful, right? Ooh. Is that, does that go outside? Uh, you can unlock it with a lockpick or the crowbar. It goes outside, right? I think that it looks like it goes outside. Let me make sure I got all this. Okay. I don't see anything else in here. But if I missed anything, guys, you know, let me know. I'm going to see if that goes outside. I think it does. I'm hoping it does because I don't want to miss, like, a, a room I can't get into. Nope. It does not go outside. It goes into a room. Oh, and I can't get in there. All right. We got we to gotta work on getting a crowbar or a lockpick. I... I think it said we can make lockpicks, but not until we're at a certain level um, of a workbench level. Uh, so we're not going to be able to do that. But I think we will be able to make a crowbar. I did see the ability to make a crowbar. You know what I'd like to be able to... Oh, I didn't even see this. I did not even see this. Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh, I thought I was finding something cool and like all like... Oh, God, the mist. That's the mist, guys. You know what? I think I'm going to stay here while the mist is going. Hopefully I have some drinking stuff. Uh, no, I don't. Ugh. That thirst might be an issue. You know what? Let's run home. Ugh, freaking fog. Yeah, the, the, the thirst might be an issue, but I, I, gotta, I can't be sitting there up there. The fog will last for a good amount of time. Not like forever, but a good amount of time. It won't last all night. So we just got to try and get home without anybody causing any problems. And we done made it. All right, let's get something to, let's get something to eat and drink. All right, uh, let's eat whatever's the lowest. They're all, a lot of these are 92. So let's go ahead and eat. Um, what does this give us? Can be used satisfying hunger and thirst or use as a bait for a do-it-yourself trap. Oh, you hear the music? I'm just going to duck down here. <laughs> Hide back here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that. 
I just don't want it to be go all the way with the hunger because then I'll feel like I wasted stuff. Um, that didn't give me a lot of thirst. So this is 53 liters. This is 35. Let's go with the uh, 53. Drink until enough. Oh, you can drink a little. Cool. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Can you do that with all these? No, just that one. Okay. Canned fruit for satisfying hunger and thirst. Eat. Now that gave me a lot of thirst. Okay, so that was good. Oh, that was that was perfect, actually. And it's getting my fatigue up, too. Remember, fatigue is directly tied to stamina. Shut up, timer! The mist is here. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the hammer. I'm going to do some inventory management in between videos, but I'm going to grab the hammer. Oh, I didn't get a chance to make nails. Yeah, I wanted to board up some more of these windows. You know what? I think I'm actually going to call this one here because I think we just have to wait for the mist to go away. And there's not much I can really do at this point. So, um, guys, let me know what you think of this game. I don't, I don't know about you, but especially for $10, uh, I'm very, very happy with it so far. It's very early. Don't expect too much. But from what I've seen, they've got some serious, serious ambitions for this game. And I'm really looking forward to see where it goes. If you ended up enjoying the video, if you want to see more of this, please leave a like and, uh, and let me know in the comments. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And because, you know subscriptions don't mean anything anymore on youtube make sure you hit that notification bell i am going to call this one here thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time and until then take it easy